Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a follow-up review on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yeah, but before I start, as I mentioned earlier in my previous video, I've been an avid Android user for the past nine years, and this is my first iPhone, and there is a reason why I chose to try to use an iPhone, because honestly, I've gotten sick and tired a little bit on Android phones, so that's why I decided, you know what, I'm gonna Give it a shot i'm gonna try this iphone and let's see how does it feel to be an iphone user so yeah i've been using it for two months plus now i'm really sorry if my review gonna hurt some iphone lovers but this is just my personal honest opinion and yeah let's just get to it okay first of all my first impression about the phone is it's heavy <laughs> yes i'm not kidding i was not expecting the phone to be this heavy compared to my android phone i mean this iphone probably weigh at least twice it's heavy uh, to the point that in the first month i'm using this phone i couldn't use them while laying down i was afraid that i would drop it onto my face literally on my first month I still opt to use my Android phone when I am watching YouTube whatsoever when I'm laying down on my bed understandable though because of the material they use to build this phone it's made out of steel is it <laughs> uh, again I'm really sorry I don't really know much about iPhone but that is just my first impression this phone is heavy but after a while you're gonna get used to it nowadays I kind of gotten used to the weight and I have this <laughs> Thing as well so I will always just like yeah use it like this just to secure myself and the phone as well because I do not want to drop the phone one thing I am very disappointed with this iPhone I'd say is the fast charging if I have to compare it with my four years old Android phone the fast charging on this iPhone is still not as fast I say this Android phone which is four years old charge twice faster at least I really do not understand why iPhone couldn't make their yeah, charging even faster and I am using the 20 watt uh, Apple adapter but yeah thinking about it this phone fast charging charge at 40 watt and this phone charge at 20 watt so yeah that explains how come I only realized that now okay so anyway that's one the second one I'm honestly a bit disappointed actually quite disappointed with some of the features when it comes to apps on iPhones because I have some favorite apps that I've been using on my Android phones but the iPhone version doesn't really work in a way they works on an Android phone for example the true color app I have them in both these phones for this phone for my Android phone I use the app for all my calls and messages it works amazingly to track whoever making a call to my phone especially it's cameras or banks or insurance agent and such that's why I love the app so much but the iPhone version of the app is not really working that way maybe I don't really figure out the configuration quite well but it's not really working as it works on Android phone even the app interface is actually quite different and that is actually not only just that one app there are other apps as well that I find it different between the Android and the iOS version and yeah that is I'd say very disappointing for me because oh my gosh it's blacked out anyway I'm just gonna continue but one thing I really really do not like about iPhone will be the fact that most of the things I want to use in my iPhone I have to purchase them even like setting a ringtone I have to purchase the ringtone from iTunes and such even though I've transferred songs from my MacBook it doesn't really work that way I could save my music for listening but when I want to set them as my ringtone it keeps asking me to buy a new one from the iTunes yeah that that is one thing that I kind of just given up on iPhone like setting the ringtone so yeah because on Android I don't have any issue with that it's very easy to set my ringtone or my alarm and such using whatever songs whatever audio I want to use but apparently with iPhone even if I have like custom sound I couldn't use them I guess I just haven't figured out how to do it but yeah what I want to say is I find iPhone is not as user-friendly 
money as I thought. I mean, yes, of course, if you have tons of money to buy all the apps and such and pay for everything, then yeah, this iPhone would absolutely go for you. But for those who doesn't really want to spend money on little things that they do not really find necessary, like very important to spend money on, iPhone is not really for you. But apart from that, I have to say in terms of performance, iPhone is really good. There haven't been like a lag or whatsoever when it comes to opening any apps. It runs very smoothly. But yes, I forgot to mention one thing. The back button for iPhone is not as friendly as it as Android's phone as well. Most probably because I've been used to the back button function on an Android phone where you could just like, you know, swipe it from the side, either side, left or right side, and they could just like go back to the previous page or go out to the main screen and such. But that's really not the case with iPhone. It's quite hard to navigate the back button. Yes, it works in some cases. You just like swipe from the left side of the screen to go back. But even in some apps, for example, Shopee app, it just go back to certain page. It doesn't go all the way. Let me try to show you. Okay, now I'm opening my Shopee app. I couldn't really go back. It just swipe like, uh, no, no, it's not working. I have to click on the back button on top of the app instead. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I find it hard for me personally compared to when I open it on my Android phone. The same app and I want to go back, I just... And yeah, I could go all the way back to my main screen just by swiping from the side of the phone, either left or right side. It doesn't really matter, but no, it doesn't really work on iPhone. But one thing I do have to mention, I am actually quite impressed, is the Safari search engine on iPhone. Because in Safari search engine on iPhone, you could go back or go forward by swiping either on left or right side of your screen. That function is not available on Android phone. I'm not really sure about the newest Android models, but not on my four years old Android phones. So yeah, I have to admit that go forward function is a plus for an iPhone. But when it comes to the back button, I would have to say I absolutely prefer the back button function on Android phone more. Apart from that, everything else actually pretty good. And as I mentioned in my previous video, the main reason that I'm getting an iPhone because I was very impressed with the camera. Yes, this camera. I am still sticking to it because yes, I am absolutely loving the camera and the photo quality and I really love the live picture function on iPhone which is a really good function if you're not really sure if you could always take a good picture because you could pick which frame you want to take from that particular picture so yeah I am absolutely loving that function and I am still sticking to the fact that iPhone camera pictures and videos have better quality compared to Android phones even the fact that Android phones usually have like bigger megapixels in terms of the camera resolution and such but when it comes to the photo quality I would say hands down iPhone pictures comes out better better depth better clarity and the colors is richer and such so yeah I'm gonna stick to that but when it comes to the front camera when it comes to selfie it is good if you want to have like a very clear natural picture yeah when you take picture selfies with many people in one frame the pictures actually comes out really 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 nice I really I'm loving the pictures of the selfies taken with iPhone. The quality is superb, but when it comes to selfie with just yourself, it gonna bring out all your flows as well. So yeah, if you don't really mind showing your scars and such, then yeah, it's fine. But if you want to have like filtered pictures or filtered selfies, then Android phone is the one for you. I guess that is kind of like the selling point for Android phone. If you want to have like selfies that looks retouched, then yeah you should go for Android but if you want to have like a very honest camera that captures every details vividly then yeah 
iPhone is the one for you. Would I ditch my Android phone for good after getting an iPhone? Honestly, I'd say no. Yeah, when it comes to performance, I have to say iPhone is the one for you. But in another prospects, if you want to have like a more user-friendly phone, then I'd say Android phones would be the one. I would stick to have one Android phone and one iPhone. I just can't decide which one to let go because both of them have their own pros and cons. So yeah, I guess that's all for now for this video. Until next time, bye-bye.